Okay, so in this problem, we are asked to state the value of the expression, and they give us the expression right here, in scientific notation. Now, of course, they're saying state the value because we're not changing anything, we're just simplifying all of this into one right term, or one expression, excuse me, uh, that is written in scientific notation. Now, we'll look at the numerator first, right, the top number here on the fraction, and that's how I'm going to break this problem down. So, so what? So we have 4.1 times uh, 10 to the second times uh, 2.4 times 10 to the third. And we're multiplying everything here, so we have a lot of flexibility. I can commute these numbers around and multiply 4.1 times 2.4 first, and then I'm going to multiply 10 to the second times 10 to the third, and I can do that in any order. If I deal with the powers of 10 first, that's 10 to the fifth, right? We add those exponents. And here, um, 41 times 24 is how I want to think of this. Do the multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Placeholder, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Add them up. 4, 8, 9. Right? And here, though, if we now think of the fact that, oh, we didn't multiply 41 by 24. It's 4.1 times 2.4. Numbers that are both 10 times smaller. That tells me altogether my product shouldn't be 984, it should be 100 times smaller, because both numbers are 10 times smaller, right? It's 9.84. So our numerator is 9.84 times 10 to the 5th, and that's over 1.5 times 10 to the 7th. What's nice here is that, again, we can group these, right? And think of it this way. So now we're dividing with our powers of 10, we can subtract exponents. We have 10 to the 5th over 10 to the 7th, 10 to the negative 2. And we have 9.84 over 1.5. I, I, in that case, I can just break out the graphing calculator here. 9.84 divided by 1.5, and we get 6.56. And there's our answer, 6.56 times 10 to the negative second. If you're using your graphing calculator, I might follow the same procedure. Just be careful, because you want to make sure you're entering your parentheses correctly. But just as a shortcut, let me show you how to enter this last piece in, uh, in scientific notation. We can enter 9.84. Quickly, we can enter in scientific notation. Press second. Here, the EE -E button um, comes out as an E, and all that means is 9.84 times 10, and now you're entering the power, in our case, the fifth, divided by 1.5, and again, scientific notation, second E, um, so that's times 10 to the, and we enter the power, seven. We press enter. There we get the answer, 0 0.0656. Now, to convert that to scientific notation, we divide it by 100, right? Uh, or multiply it by 100, excuse me, and then balance it out by dividing it by 100. Essentially, what you're seeing here, 10 to the negative second means divided by 100. Um, so if we rewrote this number out, we divide it by 100, our decimal will move twice to the left, and we would get this decimal right here. All right, so I hope this helped. Um, thanks for watching.